with Chandrayaan 1, which went in 2014, we did an orbiter, what is known as orbiter. So we had a spacecraft which went uh, uh, around, around the, moon. the moon and made observations, sent data. In fact, famously, one of the instruments also detected water on, on the moon. Uh, and in that particular mission, we also sent one of our instruments. We allowed it to fall, made a hard landing on on, on moon. So that was Chandrayaan 1. With Chandrayaan 2, we... So got, by hard landing, you mean it just fell like a stone? It just it fell just, like... It just we, fell. Yeah, we just okay. allowed it to. Yeah. So it crashed and it got destroyed in the process. Uh, it couldn't do anything else. But we did sort of let... Uh, allowed... Uh, uh, one of the instruments to fall on the moon. <clears throat> With the second mission, which is Chandrayaan 2, uh, we wanted to do one step better. So apart from an orbiter, we also had what is known as lander and a rover. So these are two instruments. Uh, one makes the landing on, on, on uh, the moon's surface and remains stationary. And within that lander, there is something called another instrument, which is called rover, which is capable of coming out of the... Uh, lander, it climbs down and then moves around on moon's surface uh, and with with very slow speed. You know, maybe what a snail space, almost like a few centimeters per hour sort of a thing. And then when it moves around, it collects a lot of data and then it transmits that data back to the lander and then to the orbiter and come comes back uh, to Earth. So that was the objective of Chandrayaan two. It was supposed to move to the next level and we when were supposed to comes back to the earth the data comes back. data comes back yeah. to the earth so chandrayaan 2 was supposed to be an orbiter plus lander and rover mission wherein we were supposed to make a soft landing on the moon soft landing as in controlled landing wherein we make a just like uh, you land uh, an aircraft. In a, in a, in a aircraft, so you have a controlled landing and then you are able to carry out the experiments that you intend to do and then uh, that data is transmitted back and you make use of that data. So unfortunately that second part did not happen, uh, you know, uh, and I guess Johnson will be able to explain what exactly went wrong uh, the last time, but essentially we were not able to make a soft landing. and. When we were so, Amitab, um, if I may interrupt you here, um, I mean, this is, I think, I think we are getting ahead of ourselves. So, so essentially you, you started off by uh, telling us uh, how this mission is different. So you're saying that there's not much that's different science-wise, technology-wise. Yes, yes. But there must be something which is different, right? Yeah, yeah. So basically, uh, so what I was trying to say is whatever was the unfinished, whatever left uh, what was whatever was left incomplete by Chandrayaan 2 this mission is supposed to finish that task basically it has to demonstrate our landing capability so this mission will demonstrate that ISRO is is able to make a soft landing on a planetary surface which is the moon in so this does case. this mission also have a rover in it it has a rover it has a, it has a lander it has a rover it doesn't have an orbiter part okay but the experiments that this will conduct are more in, more or less the same experiments that were supposed to be conducted by the lander and rover component of Chandrayaan 2. Correct. So in those terms, the science mission is the same. Okay. The changes are mostly in terms of design and you know extra measures that have been taken to avoid a situation uh, like what happened last, last time. time. Last, last time. time. Yes. Johnson, would you like to come in on here? Yeah, so um, uh, I think there's a lot of learning, a lot is after the crash last time. Uh, so um, it happened on September 7, 2019. Uh, September 7, 2019. That was the day the, the soft landing was supposed to take place. But uh, things were going fine till we reached about, you know, seven kilometers from the surface of the Earth. And, uh, and the surface of the moon. Surface of the moon. Right. And uh, I think the... Uh, the uh, lander was traveling, uh, should have been traveling at a speed of about 7.6 kilometers per hour when it comes for the soft landing. But at around one, uh, at around 500 kilometers per hour, 580 kilometers per hour, it started losing control and it started, uh, because they say that there was extra braking that was put which disrupted the system and which the online, uh, the onboard computer could not, you know, make up for that uh, extra braking and so it lost control and it crashed um, so the high the, we had the 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 communication system was able to uh, track the um, lander up to about 400 meters just above the surface of uh, 
the moon the moon so there was a lot of communication data that came back from that uh, that up till that 400 meters uh, before it crashed uh, there's a lot of data that was sent to the uh, orbiter and that data we have been able to look at and for almost three years uh, um, ISRO scientists have poured over that data to see where did where did we go wrong you know what was wrong in that system uh, in the Chandrayaan 2 system so now they've worked and they've made a lot of corrections uh, in the sense now even yeah, earlier the it has, it has it has been built for a sh there's a lot of shock absorption been built into the uh, land so even if it's coming at a very high speed to land it will not get destroyed so you know it, it absorbs the energy from uh, the crash and the second thing is that there's a i think it's, it's called a um, uh, uh, laser doppler ve uh, velocimeter velocimeter that will send beams of light onto the surface of the uh, moon. moon as the lander is coming down so it will come down from almost 6,000 kilometers per hour. It has to come to about 7.2 uh, kilometers per hour to land on the moon. So it will, the beams will keep sending um, beams onto the surface of the moon, and that will tell the um, the lander what is the, uh, what is the speed. Is it appropriate to the one that has been programmed? And then start making the corrections uh, uh, on board itself. The basic thing is um, the the scientists in would be sitting in the tracking center. They cannot control the um, yep. uh, the the lander in this phase. This is completely robotic. Mm -hmm. So it is making its own calculations, and so they built in systems where it can make its own calculations. And you know, if it's going too fast, slow down, uh, come to the optimum speed. Um, those are the things that have been built into this um, into this lander. So. The, Fascinating. So, so essentially, if I may, if I may dumb this down uh, and, and repeat it as well, what you're saying is that when the lander starts its descent on the lunar surface, it's about six thousand kilometers per hour. It's going at this enormous speed. Then, before it reaches the surface, it has to slow down to a pace so that it can softly land rather than crash into the moon. The last time, this mechanism failed. It couldn't slow down because of some problems with the calculations and the computer. Yeah, it failed in the very last uh, few seconds. 400 actually. meters. 400 said. meters. So, that's so, so we sort of lost control in, in the 400 meters. Now we are hoping that we will be able to complete the descent softly and it should land without destroying itself. Yeah. And you're saying that this, what we have done, our learning from the second mission to the third mission is we have fixed all the things that that went wrong the last time and in any case this is not controlled by the scientists who are at the mission center that we see in Bangalore and it is entirely the onboard computer systems which do it so we are hoping that uh, yeah. that, that this will so we have added about, right? some extra yeah. security some extra, features some redundancies I mean, extra too. redundancy so if there was one mechanism in the previous time to deal with a contingency like that uh, now we have five say uh, no measures that will take care correct, of correct. Uh, this kind of contingency correct, correct.